out of here, he's not up. I was playing out of two days ago, and I was the only one allowed. You think you can beat me with my kind dick? Never, my friend. Come into my house. Get out of here. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. Just so you know, the winners of the Twitter giveaway have been announced. If you are one of the winners, check your Twitter. If you got a message from your boy Malone, you won. Congratulations. If you haven't, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. There will be more giveaways coming now that our sponsors are sending me swag on a like monthly basis maybe i don't know we have to find out but enough with the yammering let's get into the annoying stuff hammering oh oh i love rack just it is like you know just an amazing kind of to play and this is another rack just freaking burn deck in amazing so we do have like the typical, you know, the, the, the usual suspects with the Voldaren Epicure and the Blood Tide Harvester. Just making sure that we always have blood tokens to cycle anything we don't like. But we also need those artifacts for the Only Cold Anvil. So we have like a lot of burn with this and that is just exactly what we want to do. Especially if you do have a Meadog Mask around. I don't know why like this shows me the alchemy version. I have no clue. It ain't. It ain't the alchemy version. This one still gives you life, so don't you freaking worry about it. I'm just utterly confused. Maybe it's in here? Did I like... Yeah, okay. Get out of here, alchemy. Nobody likes you. All right, this is better. This is way better. Oh, sheesh. Okay, so we have the Blood Tide Harvester and the Voldaren Epicure to make ourselves some, you know, blood tokens that we can use either with the Sanguine Statuette to get in it for a lot of damage because if you have one of these outdoors of haste, become 3-3 vampires, and that is just amazingly good. I don't know how that happens, if that person in the middle is like a real person just turning into a vampire, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we're getting in with the three damage. And the good thing is, if we go in like Only Cold Anvil into Sanguine Statuette, we sacrifice one of the blood tokens, we attack in. Now we have a 3-3, three, three. that slams in. We play a freaking Obnixili, slam it down, boom! Now we have a 3-3 three, three Obnixili on the field. We have two Obnixili and both have three freaking loyalty. And that is just super good. Now we make ourselves a little devil with a skirt with those big chunky legs, and we uh, make them discard something. We burn them for two, we gain two life, whatever they want to do, we're in, you know? Because I am the adversary. So, that is super good. We also slam in a Valky, just for the double Planeswalker freaking value. Because with this deck, for whatever reason, even though we're only playing like 21 lands, we're still drawing all the lands. It is just like, you know, the Malone curse of the century. So, Valky, Early game, super good. Later we have the Tybalt, just to steal their stuff. I like stealing stuff. You know it. Five finger discount. So, that is our plan. Just burn them to freaking hell. But this deck is like a value freaking machine once more. Yes, I know I said that yesterday as well. But this is right for this deck as well. Because uh, we do have stuff like the Experimental Synthesizer. When it comes in, we exit the top card. And we might play it until end of turn. And that is just super good. We can sacrifice this. We create a Samurai. And still get another card that we might exile. And, uh, you know, play until end of turn. Same with the Unlucky Witness. Until the end of our next end step, we can play this card that we exile with the Unlucky Witness. He's getting stabbed from the behind. That is exactly what we're doing with our opponent. So Unlucky Witness... Get Sacrifice to the Deadly Dispute. Now you get two cards into your hand. And you get two cards that you can use until your next freaking end step. Just darn freaking good. So, Meadog Masker, whatever they do, once our creatures die, we freaking drain them for even more. And that is super good. And of course, we have some removal with one Flame Blast Bolt. Because I had one more space left and I thought, what am I putting in here? And I think the Flame Blast Bolt is just good. If you exile something, that is always freaking good. If they have like an, uh, what's his face? You know, the 3-2 the, the that comes back from the graveyard and gets a card? Uh, that is just the underdog. Yeah, thank you person that doesn't exist. The underdog, exactly. You can just exile this with this and that is just super good. And a Voltage Surge, it's always dealing 4 for 2 damage. Because we will always have some kind of artifact that we can sacrifice. Because, if you don't know, these constructs, they're freaking artifacts. Oh yeah, just use them. Just stack in, use the artifact 
to deal for freaking damage to creature planes. It's just insanely freaking good in this deck. And it will stay for the longest time. Rotation proof, my friends. Rotation proof. So, is the deck rotation proof in general? It kind of is. Like, the only thing in here that isn't is the Deadly Dispute and the Valky. These two, but you know, we have other cards that we can use. And I'm pretty darn certain that there will be something similar to the Deadly Dispute coming to Arena the moment that they will get it out of here. So yeah, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. We get one half of the Eye Tyrant. Maybe think about putting two in there just for the Reanimator decks. Why am I saying this? Well, you will see. And uh, the Socken Sound is also pretty darn good. It gets us two creatures that we can slam in there, end of their turn, get in there for the last bit of damage, and of course, then of the freaking bugbear, just the same. You know, just slam in for some freaking damage, and that is always good. But the Hive of the Iron and the Den of the Bugbear, of course, come in freaking untapped if you're playing in the late game. So think about if you really want to do it. I think you should. So we have five swamps, five mountains, four blights, the pathway, and four haunted ridge, and that's it! That is the whole freaking annoying freaking deck. And it is super annoying for our opponents. You know what is up, Nixilis? Mmm. I really didn't like him before, but he's one of my best friends now. And I hope he will be your best friend too, because he is really darn evil. And we like that. So yeah, this is annoying stuff. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those burning games. Alrighty, we're up against Behor. I just read the name, you know, it's not like I'm cursing or anything. Alrighty, so we do have a okay start here. Opponents going first, I do not like that too much. But hey, it's still alright. Depending what they play here, we will either go with the Haunted or the uh, Den of the Bugbear. Mulliganing, oh no! Oh no, I do not like that too much. I really don't. Well, they could play like a Tenacious Underdog here. That would be pretty darn cute. Because in that case, we could... What? Five colors, eh? You cannot fool me. You cannot freaking fool me, my friend. So, question is, do we sacrifice our Blood Tide Harvester here? I think we do. I told you. I freaking told you. Alrighty. Well, let's slam in. If they want to trade here, that is fine by me. I don't want to trade here. Alright, that is even freaking bad. So now we get a Blood Tide Harvester here. And two of Nix alive. I am the answer. Well, sound is here, so that is alright. Just obedience. And uh, let's gain some life. Shake down the locals. So I'm pretty My darn certain that there are five freaking colors carnage. here. Pretty darn freaking certain. So if they want to attack any, we can get rid of this little goblin shaman. So that is alright. And we do have all the value here, so I'm okay with it. I told you, well, that's a black source was already here. But you know, there's all the five colors right here. Right freaking here. So are you attacking in though, my friend? Are you now? If you are, you will lose everything you have. So go ahead, you do that. You freaking do that. Like this deals one damage. Hey, hey, you know, a whore if you want to do it. Once more, did not curse. It's, <laughs> it's not my freaking fault. So they can't decide which one they like less. But they're going with all the five colors here. But we're just getting rid of this right away. Like there's literally no freaking reason not to. Like none so ever. And good day to you, sir. Now watch him max out something. Yup, the binding of the old gods. Interesting. Pretty darn freaking interesting. Alrighty. Not worth oh the Oh my, that is so good. That is actually so good. Let's go with the Vaulted Surge first. Oh, wait. No, wait. I mean the Experimental Synthesizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, read the cards. Read the cards. All right. This is so good, man. This is just so good. So freaking good. So they will lose two life <laughs> here. We're bringing down the only Cold Anvil. And, uh... I think that we're getting rid of the, uh... Sanguine Statuette. Another experimental since that is all right. I like it. I really do. So yes, they might have a five colored exile target, whatever. We do have the vaulted surge though for this stupid fable of the mirror break a little token. So, all right, the Sparas headquarter, still okay. 
still all good. All freaking good. So here it comes. The Kami War. In three, two, one. Kami it up, my friend. Kami over. Told you. I freaking told you. It's the Kami War. Everybody knew it. From the start. All right. Getting rid of my Opnixilis. That is still okay. You know, we're still dealing a lot of damage every single turn. So that is still a okay. Flame Blast Bolt. I don't need it right here. I would just get in here with this. Submit zero, of course. I should have done it the other way. No, this is a 6-6. Six, six, so that's still a okay, you know. Uh, go with the experimental sand size. Or maybe we're finding another land here. We did. Amazing. Okay. All right. And uh, slamming it in, drawing some cards. All of the Shubwang. All of the freaking Shubwang. Now we even have the treasure here for next turn. Oh my lord, more land? Are you freaking kidding me, game? Wow, okay. I mean, hey, hey. You know, it's still A-OK. -okay. It is still a all freaking K. -okay. So, they think they smurred you, but they earned, just earned smurred. Don't get anything. Nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. Do you think they have another Kami War? I don't think they do. And if they do, well, so be it. So freaking be it. All right, they don't have anything here. I love it. Freaking do. The Voldaren Epicure. I think we need to get in for as much freaking damage as we can as soon as freaking possible. So let's freaking do that. That is four right here. Right now. Bring down the Voldaren Apicure. And, uh... Doing this, getting rid of the land. Alright! I kinda like where this is going, you know? I kinda do. So yeah, they're getting the Kami War here. They don't have anything in here, so what are they even getting here? Uh, non-land card. Oh, it's a no- I thought it was only creatures. But it ain't only creatures. Alright, I mean, hey, this is still A-OK, -okay, you know? If now I only had my freaking land here, that would be great. But I don't have it. I don't have it. I was greedy. Greedy, I tell you. So can I am the one choosing, right? I am the one choosing. That is alright, I like it, I really do. Oh my lord, okay. So, how much mana do we have here? Do we have enough? We do not have enough. Alright. Let's prepare for enough mana then. Sanguine Statuette, I like it, I really do. And uh, also bringing down the Unlucky Witness here. Good, good, okay. So, they gain three life here. That is still a-okay, you know. Still alright. We will return what here? Uh, the Fable, of course. The freaking Fable. Yes, we do. So, uh, one mana and we're good. If we don't, they keep three on top. Wow, okay. That is freaking crazy, man. Three on top ain't good. So... We will be sacking our blood token here, question mark. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, my lord. Okay. Okay. Bringing down the fable? Or are we? Yes, we are bringing down the fable here. So we're bringing them down to seven this turn. Is this, uh... Yes, it is. So we can sacrifice this. Still have enough creatures. If this ain't a board wipe... It ain't a board wipe. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, freaking Roddy. I like where this is going. We're still bringing them down to seven here. So, yeah. Things are looking A-OK. -okay. Not perfectly fine up until now, but A-OK. -okay. I like it. I still have something. Whatever it is, I don't freaking like it. Shut up. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, man. Alright. Until my next end step. That is so good, man. That is so freaking darn good. All right. All freaking righty. Uh, decline. Shoot him them like this. Bring him down the Voldaren Apicure here. Now let me do some math. Bring him down the Meatook for free. 
Uh, for zero, I mean. Okay. Now we are uh, deadly. De yeah, we got him. We freaking got him. I love it, man. So, we're getting rid of the blood. Yeah, we got him, baby. Because we do have the flame blast bolt. And we're taking action here. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. All right. I really do love it. Nice. Thanks, man. The value is once more freaking infinite here. Okay. So here we go now. Here we freaking go now. Slamming in there. Why did I do this? Just to flex. Just to flex. Because I can just sacrifice the other only cold ammo. Boom. Mm. Get out of here, Kami War. The Onis win. Get out of here, five-colored pile of garbage. Malone is in the house. Mmm. So yeah, my eyes shouldn't have attacked in with their little... Oh no, it's professed my eyes are up here, Onyx. No chance for us today, my friends. Oh my, but we're going first. I love it. Yeah, this hand is keepable. Thanks to the unlucky witness. And we also do have the Valky here, so whatever they do have, we can just steal it. Oh no, we're up against a freaking control. I do not like it one bit, but we will see here. Oh my, okay. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> that is a pretty nice hand if I ever seen one. A pretty darn nice hand. So yeah. Uh, they can just destroy my Valky here and they will like one bajillion percent. They will just freaking shoot it right away. There you go. There you freaking go. Go ahead, shoot it. All right. Oh, freaking right. But at least, you know, we got their uh, one removal out of their hand. That is already pretty darn good. Okay. So let's prepare for the Oni Cold Anvil here. They only have one white source, which is the Aganjo. They don't have another white source, if I see correctly. Yeah. But that is still pretty much in our favor here. And together with the Oni Cold Anvil, you know, we will be getting... Oh, there it is. There's the white source now. All right. Well, that's just bad. That is just freaking bad. But, but, and hear me out, we can still, you know, Blood Tide Harvester, uh, Deadly Dispute to Blood Tide Harvester. Okay. All right. Interesting. I don't think that I will ever need to Flame Blast Bolt, so let's get freaking rid of it. Let's just get freaking rid of it. The next turn we can play the Sanguine Statuette. Sec oh my, another land. Well, that's okay. That's all right. I don't mind too much. I really don't. Maybe I should have kept it for the Hinata here. Who knows? Who freaking knows? The Voldaren Epicure. That is pretty darn nice. I love it. I really do. And uh, bring down the Sanguine Statuette. Okay. We're getting in it for a lot of freaking value. That much I can tell you. That much I can freaking tell you. So they have this one Hinata here. But we have so many things on the battlefield right now. What are they ever supposed to do? Just taking it? What? What? Dude! We're pretty dead very soon, you know that, right? You freaking know that, right? <laughs> so, bringing down a Hinata here, the only thing you could have is like a, uh, you know, the Thang, the freaking Thang. So do you have it? Do you have the one Thang that can save you here? They do have it. They freaking do have it. So here it comes, my turn, you tap down my stuff, yes, yes, okay, but what is your grand freaking scheme here? What is it? Like, whatever it is, I do have answers here, so I'm not even half that bad about anything. <laughs> Look at them go ham, man. Look at them go ham. Alrighty. So, they're tapping this one down. They're sacrificing the unlucky witness here. Even more freaking value. The voltage search is amazingly good. Amazingly good. All right. Do we win here? Let me do some more math. We do not win here right away, do we now? I can use this. 
I already got myself one of these. So that is two to their face. I think we... Hmm... Bring down another Blood Tide Harvester. Now we Voltage Surge this freaking Inada. Yash. Sacrificing this, Yash. Okay. Taking the action. Why the living heck not? Um. Uh, yeah, that wasn't the smartest decision of my life. But next turn, we kinda win, you know? We kinda freaking do. Because I don't think that they have too much to do here. Because next turn we just... Uh, and they scoop! Get out of here, Hinata! I was playing Hinata two days ago, and I was the only one allowed. You think you can beat me with my kind dick? Never, my friend. Come into my house. Get out of here. Alrighty, we're to the... All right now, we're up against Hayabusa. The racing mo motorcycle of the century or whatever. We go in first. I hate this hand. But I bet there is a good reason for this, you know? There must be a good reason for this. I'm still not keeping it. This is way better, my friends. This is way freaking better. So we're getting rid of the voltage. No, we're getting rid of the Midok Masker here. Sadly. But truly, we are. I know, I know. What is a Malone deck without a Midok Masker? Sag is what it is. Alright. Sanguine Statuette here is pretty darn tasty. I like it. Um... We just have to see. Only called Anvil is just freaking amazing here. Just freaking amazing. I will just play it down like Clown Charlie Brown. And uh, will I be chilling here? I want all the cards that I have here, so I'm okay with it. I will just deadly dispute this blood token here, hopefully. They're playing. Are we up against another freaking five color deck here? Is this real life? Is this real life? I don't know, my friends. I really, really don't know. Okay, so now we can sacrifice one of these blood tokens. Get ourselves another land. Hopefully. Uh, at least a treasure, you know? Take action. Yeah, take action. The Voltage Surge. And the Meat of Massacre. I mean, that's alright, you know? We need that. We kind of do. And the uh, next turn we can do two things, and I like doing two things. I'm so certain, like yeah, they're just another five color pile of freaking trash here, man. Alright, what are you getting rid of? My only cold anvil? My sanguine statuette? What? Okay, yeah, you do you, my friend. You do freaking... Like, what are the chances we encounter two of those in a row, man? That is just freaking... Oh my, okay. <laughs> Sucks to be you, my friend. Sucks to be you. All right. We are going with the uh, Sangan statuette here once more. But give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. I'm getting rid of one voltage surge. Yes. Yes, we are. All right. More freaking Roddy. I like it. Take action. Can we draw land here? We cannot draw land. That is still alright, we're still getting in there for 5, you know? It is still pretty darn bad for our opponent here. So yeah, I like it, I really do. And next turn we can bring down our Obnixilus as a 3 cost. And I will absolutely freaking lootly do it. So Ayabusa, you think you can defeat me? With the Ezekiel's Chariot? Oh no, not the Ezekiel's Chariot. Oh please don't. The horror. The freaking horror. Okay. So can we draw a land here? A land would be extraordinarily good. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so. I want to keep my voltage search for this, actually. So let's freaking keep it for this. And, uh... Bring down the Obnixili. Sacrifice one of our little tanks here. That is pretty darn good. Alrighty, more freaking Roddy. So they will lose uh, one. Uh, we getting another uh, thing here. That is pretty darn good. We're bringing down the Obnixili. Oh, that is the wrong one. Creating a little devil. Oh my lord. 
The burn is real! Go burn, my friend! Chaos. Freaking burn! So, are you taking the damage? Are you taking Go the deeps? You really shouldn't, you know? Mercy. You really freaking shouldn't. So... I want to kind of bait them here, don't I? I don't. Well, these are artifacts. That is also good. So I could freaking bait them here. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it then. Let's just freaking do it. Let's bait them. I can really block with these two, you know. Another Meadow Master. Why not? You know, why the heck not? Uh, we're attacking it with the Sanguine Statuette. If they're double blocking, that is alright. If they're like turning their Seeker's Chariot into a thing, that is even freaking better. And they do! They do turn it into a thing. Oh no! Oh my friend. That was the wrong decision. That was just the wrong freaking decision. Voltage search right to the cat face. Get me out of here! <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm freaking terrible. Oh, get the faulty searching me now. Are you seriously kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, I mean, hey, we're, we're still dealing with one here. You know, that is still okay. And I mean, what are you supposed to do here? You know, we just block here. I don't care. I would just freaking block here and just wipe the board with them. Wipe the floor with them. Yeah, I will double block here. One of you cats will freaking die. The other one won't. But hey, that is still alright, you know. We could destroy it here, but I honestly don't want it. There's literally no reason not to. And uh, will one cat die? No. I prefer the life game. I really, really do. So, slamming in for one. Bringing down the unlucky witness. Oh no. I, I totally messed up here. I just freaking messed up here, man. I just messed up. I, I, okay, yeah, well, it happens. It happens to the best. No, it happens to the best. We still have blockers here, so it's still all right, you know. Oh, my, okay. So do you think they have another Titan in hand? They most certainly freaking do, right? Yeah, they most certainly do. There's no way they don't. There you go. There you freaking go, man. No way they don't. I told you. I freaking told you. Oh my, okay. Alrighty, you do that. That is alright. That gives me a good block here, though. And I like a good block in the morning. Go into the original? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you shouldn't. You really freaking shouldn't. Okay. We're blocking here and we're blocking here. Because this also gives us stuff. So I like stuff, you know? Voldaire and Epicure. That is nice. Let's get rid of one of these kitty cats. We cancel. Are we though? Actually don't think that we are. Let's like make him discard some more here. Defy me, and you lose everything. <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. It really is. I am super entertained by your punishment. So, yes, they can slam in here. Do you think they have a third one, though? I don't think they do. I honestly don't think that they do. So, we're keeping up our meat of Massacre. It could be like a nice finisher, you know. They do have another one? Are you kidding me, game? Three Titan of Venus. Come on, get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here, man. Holy smokes. Holy freaking smokes. Two Titan... Yeah, right. Right. Normal. You know, nothing wrong with any of this. Just nothing freaking wrong with any of this. It's just perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. All right. Yeah, just... <laughs> Three Titan of industry right away, you know, no problemo, just easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we're like three mana away from ever destroying them, so that ain't no bueno. 
There just ain't no freaking bueno. All right, we're still doing this now. There's literally no reason not to. It was a land for them. All right, I mean, we're still getting in there for some damage. You know, that is still okay. I like it. I really do. And uh, let's just slam in there for three now. Get rid of the stupid titan of industry number three. All righty. All freaking righty. Are we bringing down the meat of Mesker? I think we are. I think we are. Because we now need to ping him for as much as we can, you know? Holy smokes. Like, seriously, the triple titan of industry. And now they have... Yeah, right. Normal. Once more. Freaking normal, you know? Nothing to see. Nothing to say. Just... Everything they need. Okay. I mean, hey. Oh, my lord. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? We, we're going down here, man. We're going down. I don't like it at all. Well, I do like this, though. I really do. I really do. Okay. So, we're getting down you here. Because they still need to concentrate on their titan, you know? And that is still pretty darn good. They're still losing the life I'm here. The They're losing the life with this. They're losing the life Point. with this. Oh, so, it's going to be freaking tough. But we Go might freaking get them mercy. here. Are you freaking kidding me? What? Come on. Come on. All four in the first 18 cards. That is just a scam, man. This is just a freaking scam, man. Come on. They have gained 15 life already with this. 50. Unreal, man. Unreal. This is just unreal, man. Unheard of. This just a freaking scam, over. man. Just a freaking scam, man. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. Well, I will steal your titan of freaking industry. It is mine now. And, uh. No attacks. None so ever. Unreal, man. Just unheard of. Four titan of industry. Four of them. Are you kidding me? Yeah, okay. Draw three cards now even. Why not? I, I don't mind anymore. It's all good, you know. <laughs> this is such a scam, man. If I've ever seen a scam, it's this. It is freaking this, man. Unreal. Unfreaking real. Unfreaking real, man. Okay, I mean, hey, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> what you freaking gonna do about it? Yeah. Like, infinite value for our opponent. It is just unreal, man. Four Titan of Industry in the first not even 20 cards. Four of them. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. So we're bringing down a counter. And, uh... Yeah, on the Titan. Destroying you. Bringing down a counter on the Titan. I think that that is fine. And, uh... Are we attacking in... We're not attacking in. We will see what they're doing here. But right now, we're still kind of fine, you know? We still have a chance to win here. All right, of course, unless they find their Kami's War, then we're kind of screwed, you know? Kind of. Sound is bugged again, even though I just restarted the game, like, not even too long ago. All right, doesn't look like a Kami War yet, but it still might be here, you know? The Voltage Surge. I like it, kind of. Kind of do. The Blood Tide Harvester, also kind of like it. So. We're slamming it with the Titan here. There's literally no reason not to. So, one of their Titans is Gonzo. That is pretty darn good. And uh, we're keeping up the Voltage Search. We will just see what they're doing here. <laughs> just, you know, they've gained like 18 life or... And there it is. Oh, of course, man. Oh, freaking course. No worries here. Everything according to plan. I'm still in utter disbelief, man. These four titan of industry, they were just a little too much. They're not attacking in. Okay. All right. Uh, cancel. I'm still getting rid of it. Yeah, I am. I am. Submit zero. Submit freaking zero. Another of Nixilis. All right, I like it. I really do. I really freaking do, man. Okay. Because you know there's only so much they can do about infinite freaking of Nixalai. 
Sound is bugged once more. This game is bananas, man. Sound is bugged. Everything is whack. <laughs> they need to discard something here. I like it. But we're Measure still very, game. very close to just going down, man. Just going down. Like the fourth titan of industry, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, they have another Kami War in hand. They want to keep it. They want to keep their Kami War here. But the thing is that we can get rid of the Titan, you know? If we really have to. If we really have to. Are we playing this even though it could like screw us royally? Yeah, we're doing it. It's a land. We haven't played a land yet, so that is still alright. And uh, passing a turn. Today we return something to our hand here. Maybe it's going to be the Obnixilis. It doesn't matter too much. They will have to attack in with their Titan though. So that is alright, you know? Attacking in with the Titan here. This game, man! This game is just freaking banana! Like the fourth Titan of industry! That was like the only thing! The only thing that could like, you know, save him here. And what? Did, what? They didn't use this? Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, come on! Oh, they did use it, I just didn't see it. Like, come on, what are these top decks, man? What are these freaking top decks, man? They're uh, freaking unreal the is what they are. Freaking un freaking real. And we're drawing a land here. Like, of course, did you expect anything else? But two lands in a row with the experimental sin. Yeah, normal, you know? Just freaking normal. Nothing wrong with any of this. Nothing, I tell you. <laughs> what? Come on, just get... <gasps> get out of here, game. Get out, that was four lands in a row, you know? Like our opponent got for that is just freaking bananas, man. Just freaking bananas. Like there's nothing I can do with it. Like they have three more titans of industry in their deck. Like what even, the oh they have only one in there. Okay, maybe I will attack in next turn with my uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Maybe I should have done it, but you know, it is just bananas, man. Just there is no words for how crazy lucky our opponent is here. Just no freaking words, man. None so ever. Zero. Just zero. Okay. There is no reason to block here. None so ever. Just what is with the sound, man? I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. So please, give me another Valky here. I deserve it, man. I have drawn like almost all of my lands already. I have 12 lands left, man. 12 lands left. Not even, like I've won uh, two, two in here. That is just bananas. Another Blood Tide Harvester. All right, first things first, we're getting rid of their other freaking like Titan of Industry. Unreal, man. un freaking real man. And they would have been dead already, you know? That is the crazy part. Do you really have a removal now? They have a removal. What are these top decks, man? How is this person top decking every single freaking answer all the time, man? I can't believe it. I'm in utter disbelief. Yeah, we're losing here because of this. Like, two top decks, you know? Just nothing else to say. We're just losing to freaking top decks, man. Now they bring back the Titan. Unreal, man. Freaking unreal. Freaking unreal. Oh, we can decide. Okay. Well, in that case. Let's bring back... Let him play the Voltage Surge. It's okay. It's alright. I don't mind. I really don't mind. It's just un believable I will just do this every single turn now. Okay. Sound is bugged anyways. I mean, hey. The Voltaren Epicure. That is just so freaking useless right now. Like, seriously freaking useless. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, I mean, hey, what are we supposed to do? You know, we're just stacking in with these little devils here. Okay, I mean, we're dead next turn anyways. You know, there's no way we survive this. None so freaking ever. It's just crazy. For a titan of industry. They haven't drawn a land in the last freaking five games or uh, five draws or something like that. Not a single one. Okay, so... How do we survive here? We don't. We just don't freaking survive here. Just attacking with everything. Yup. Just as I said. Just attacking in with everything. 
We're bringing back the Courier's briefcase and we're dead. So the only thing we can bring back is the Voltage Surge. They can just instantly use it to destroy one of our creatures. I mean, this is 10. This is 7. So yeah, I mean, a good game. Let's just, you know, have him the good game here. We're not doing it. Get out of here, Arena. Four Titan of Industry in the first four cards and then no more land for our opponents. Just get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. This was just a scam game of the freaking century. Like, come on, man. Come on. Four Titan of Industry. Four of them? Yeah, right. Yeah, freaking right, you do. Alright, I don't like this hand too much. I really have to mulligan here. I do like this hand, though. Even though we don't have, like, an artifact yet, but we will find it sooner or later. Unless, like, you know, we draw, like, four lands in a row again. There's a chance of that happening. There is a huge chance of that happening. Is this enchantments? It is enchantments. Alrighty. Oh, freaking righty. I think we have an okay chance against enchantments. Are we bringing down the only cold anvil here? I think we are. Even though it doesn't help us too much right now, but it will in the near future. And we can still, you know, bring down an Omnix life for nothing. And uh, just make ourselves a little thing. Oh my, okay. Okay, yeah, normal. <laughs> just nothing wrong with any of it. There's nothing, you know, just another day in the office of a uh, shuffler being fine. I mean, we have two up next line. What am I even complaining about? And two Meadog Maskers. So what am I even freaking complaining about? Alrighty. So, do they want to do anything here? I'm actually freaking fine with it. They attack in here. What am I doing? Will I take it? I think I will. I think I'll just freaking take it. Spirited companion. All right, making this one bigger. I don't like it too much, buddy. Buddy, nothing much you can do about it. Go ahead, do something. Do freaking something. Whatever it is, I'll gladly freaking take it. Are you just attacking my open Nixilis? Do you go in face? Okay, go face, my friend. That is fine by me. That is actually fine by me. I'm getting some life back here. So, hey, oh, I'm fine with that, you know? And there's even a land now. It's getting better and better. Okay. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. So... There's a huge argument to be made to just do this now. Reason is I don't want to attack in so that I can absolutely do damage. And goodbye, my friend! Now get out of here! You're just getting the big old hit to your face! And they scoop! Mmm! After the last game, I really needed something like this. Oh, a little pick-me-up, you know? Just, oh my lord. I'm still in shock about that last freaking game. Four Titan of Industry in the first 18 guy. Get out of here, game. Get out of here. Alright, we do have time for one last game here. We are up against Oko Metal. Oko Metal. And uh, we don't have any black sources here. We do have two Sanguine Statuettes, which might help us. I mean, this hand is so good if we ever find a black source but it is so bad if we don't so yeah I'm actually okay with keeping this and uh, getting rid of the meat hook here yes sadly I am it's a mirror man well you know me the comes me the leaves it up you just throw away something one man's trash and so on <laughs> Just amazing, man. Just amazing. All right, what you doing here, my friend? What are you doing? We stealing. We stealing. We stealing. And let us see what our opponent's playing here. Are you kidding me? Is everybody now owning a freaking Titan of Industry here? 
That is just freaking bananas, man. Especially with the Diagraph Rebirth here. That is just super freaking bad. But the thing is, now they cannot discard it anymore. So I'm kind of glad. I am. Kind of freaking glad. Alright, they will still destroy my Valky here. I'm pretty darn certain. Like, should they really though? I don't know. I really don't know. Is that really what you want to do here, my friend? Is it really now? Like, the Titan of Industry is such a good old card, you know? Okay. Alright. That is good, you know? That is actually pretty darn good. Discarded the land and the Diagraph Rebirth. They still found the land. Okay. Yeah, why not, you know? Why not? That is a good card to have here. The Meadow Masker. That means that we can get rid of one of those Meadow Maskers. Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. And just slam freaking in there. Okay, I will not give him the uh, Valky back here. No, sir. No way, freaking Jose. Take action, yes, take action. Another Valky. That is pretty good. Pretty darn good. So. This costs what? Seven. See if they play a land here, you know? That is all I freaking care about. If they do play a land here. They discarded a land. Let me do some math here. Okay. That is good. That is real darn good. Okay. Getting the blood token. Are you attacking in here? You are. The mad lad. Okay. That is so good, man. That is just so good. All right. So they think, hey, we got our freaking Titan back. But they don't. They actually don't got it back. Because we just do this now. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about the blood token. I forgot about the blood token. Oh no. Oh come on, really? Freaking really now? Well, I mean, we're super dead here. <laughs> we are once more going down to the freaking Titan of Industry here. Just two games out of freaking five. Ain't that pretty? Ain't it pretty? No, it ain't. No, it just ain't. So they're bringing back the Titan here for free now, gaining some life back, destroying my Sanguine Bloodstroke, uh, Statuette here. Oh, brutal, man. Oh, brutal. Okay. I mean, hey, what you gonna do about it? What you freaking gonna do about it? Nothing, I tell you. Oh, what? Not gaining life? Well, it might be coming back to haunt you. It's what I would have said. If we would have drawn a freaking land here, like, come on, no, we cannot get rid of the reflection. Well, we can now. That is pretty darn good. That indeed is pretty darn good. And we will, we will get rid of this freaking reflection. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. So, good, good. I like it. I really do. And a pass in the turn. There's nothing else we can do here. Nothing else. Like, we can still get ourselves, uh, are they really bringing back the, uh, old Rottenstein here? Like, every game we lose is to the Titan of Industry, it's real life, man! Is the Titan of Industry, like, our enemy today? Is it like, you know, the one thing we despise? I think it is. I think it really is. Alright, but hey, we can still win here, you know? If we draw another rat source here, that would be chef's kiss delicious. Freaking chef's kiss freaking delicious. If we don't... Well, we're a little bit screwed. But you know, come on. We're kind of a discard deck. We're going up against somebody to play Diagraph Rebirth. Like, what are the freaking chances, man? What are the freaking chances? There is a rat source. I freaking love it. I really freaking do. Okay. So, as uh, we still do have a small and significant chance here. Uh, bringing down the Voldaren Apicure here. Uh, destroying the Voldaren Apicure. I think that's the right freaking call. going to be tough but it's still going you know we're still gaining some life back runt. here so that is also pretty darn tasty <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment okay no attacks so they can destroy one of these suckers yes they can but what is their freaking top deck what is it my friend what is 
your Cheop deck. So we can do this for two, that ain't barely enough, you know, they're on eight mana, we're on four. You can, uh, you know, try and attack one of my things here, but uh, what good will it do? I mean, yeah, they will get rid of all of my creatures, That 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 is pretty darn good, you know, there is no way that it ain't. So, my friend, what are you thinking about? What is your grand freaking scheme here? You have one card in hand. One singular card in hand. That is it. We're going there, we're going there, and... We're double attacking the one below, I think. Okay, they're thinking long enough about how to attack my... I have no more coffee. <laughs> It's getting worse and worse. I don't even have coffee anymore. Okay, so old Rutstein goes to the original adversary. I am the adversary. Go in face? What? Are you mad? I am utterly freaking confused, man. Utterly freaking confused. You go in face. Like, do I keep one of my things here just to gain some life back? Nope. They're rethinking it all over again. <laughs> For a minute now, they're thinking about their life choices. Alrighty. This makes it a little bit easier, to be honest. It really does. It really freaking does make it easier. Oh my lord, how long do they have to think about this? Oh gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> Just crazy, man. Just freaking crazy, man. All righty. All freaking righty. So, we're getting... Uh, yeah, we can lose the original. You know, that is all right. We're taking seven here. That is super bad. Well, not attacking in. They did not attack in. Thought. What is going on, man? What is freaking going on? The Blood Tide Harvester. All righty. This is good. I like it. I'm bringing down Hugh here. Another one. I mean, gaining some life here is pretty decent. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Maybe we even draw land here. Like, you know, there is a chance we do. There is a chance we do. All right. Pretty darn good. And, oh, we're losing this one. That is bad. That is just bad. All right. Do we survive here? Do we win here? Like, we're, uh, we only need one more land to be super happy. Up until now, we aren't happy at all. But this is 11, 12. We're still alive here, though. We are still alive here. Yes, we are. If they destroy my... Okay. That is fine by me. I'm still alive, you know, and that is all I care. Oh, they're bringing it back with the Diagraph Rebirth, I reckon. But that is, as I said, still a okay. What else are you doing, though, my friend? What else? Are you now attacking my uh, adversary? Okay, they are. And going to face here. Okay, that, that is all good. I'm fine with that. I actually am. No blocks. We just need a little bit of luck, you know? Just a smidgen of luck here. Would be extraordinarily no good. Just extraordinarily good. I grab Rebirth. So please, give me a land here. Oh, exquisite. Freaking delicious. Okay. So. I mean, maybe they don't even block here, you know? There's a chance they don't. Okay, they do. They do block here. But, uh, hey. Hey, you know, there was a chance they didn't. There was a small and significant chance that they did. All right. Uh, doing it for four here. On a pay. And uh, all of their Diagraph Rebirth. We're going back to what? 13 life here. It ain't much, you know. But uh, we need to do anything we can here to turn this around. And we're doing it. We're doing anything we can to turn this around. But once more, Titan of Industry is the one thing burning us to hell, man. They have another Diagraph Rebirth or a Graveyard Shift. That is what they have. Okay, so maybe, maybe we can freaking turn this around. 
maybe we can. Okay, the drawing here, I like it, I really do. You know, like, uh, there's so many man lands that would help us out a lot here. All right, there was two lands. Two freaking lands. I like it, I really do. What else have you got in here? They still have something, yeah, okay, I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's just normal, you know? It's just freaking normal. The Blood Tide Harvester, I kind of like it. I really do. Because that means that we can get rid of the old Rottenstein, you know? Maybe we draw land here, question mark? It's a Sanguine Stentor. That is still fine. That is still absolutely fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. All we need to do is survive here, which we won't now. Which we won't now. Or do we? I think we still survive here, you know? Maybe they're even attacking in with everything. That would be pretty darn cool, I have to say, if they did. Uh, that would be pretty darn amazing. If they have a removal here... Deadly dispute. Okay, well, that gives us a life. I like it, I really do. Okay. So we need more value Pajalia, which we don't have right now. They have two here's one, two, three, four here. If we draw another land, they could have another Titan of Industry. But should they? I don't think they deserve it, you know? I don't think they did. After everything we had to endure with Titans of Industry today, I just don't think they freaking deserve it. You're slamming in. You are slamming in. Okay. I would just block here like this. Or am I? Yes, I am. I have to. Bringing him down to five. That's to six. Okay. I mean, the Sanguine Statuette is still a real thing, you know? Oh, come on. It never stops. It just never freaking stops, man. Okay. Let's try to find something amazing here. Uh, whatever it is, I gladly freaking take it, you know? Take action here, why not? We draw like an only called anvil. Does that do us any freaking good? Let me do the math here. We're getting rid of the old Rothstein here. Just because of value. That brings us back to three, brings him down to five. We uh, need to block a lot here. But we're still kind of fine. Not perfectly fine, but still kind of fine. Do this for a blue. Just so we can get one of these things here. So. This is three now. We attack in with three. Let them know that we're thinking. We're attacking in with three here. We can block three here. Uh, that just ain't doing it. Just ain't freaking doing it, my man. Just ain't freaking doing it. Because, uh, yeah, it's just too freaking close, you know? Just too freaking close. But they can't just attack in Nilly Willy. That is also pretty darn good. Oh, my lord. No way. No freaking way. The Dusk Mangler. Really? The Dusk Mangler. Well, I mean, that is just okay. That is... All right. I mean, hey. <laughs> There was literally nothing we could have done here. Like, literally freaking nothing we could have done here. Like, they just had it all, man. They just had it all, man. Unreal. The Titan, the Dusk Mangler, everything. Freaking everything. Oh, my lord. Okay, yeah, that's good. Totally not needed here. There was no need to do this, man. There was no need for this aggression. None so ever. Oh, come on. Exact freaking lethal here. Exact freaking lethal here. Oh, come on. Come on. Get out of here. It's the curse. 
of the titan of industry. Get out of here, game. Get out of here. Alrighty. So today was the curse of the freaking titan of industry. I mean, what you gonna do against freaking four titan of industry in the first 20 cards? With a burn deck. Let's be honest. Like a 7-7 seven, seven giving you four life even. That is just a little bit too much. You know, just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. But it gives me pretty good idea of what I'm going to play tomorrow, <laughs> so yeah. Also, like, we encountered two five-color decks, which is crazy. Because, yeah, sometimes you encounter them, but two of them? I don't know what the matchmaker is thinking. If that really is, like, the perfect answer to our deck. But it seemed like it was, like, a 50-50. You know, we, we won one game, we lost the other one to four. I repeat, four freaking titan of industry in the first 80... Just... Get out of here. But you know who st should stay in here? All of these people on this beautiful list. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank each and every single one of you. Making it possible that I can keep going on doing my shenanigans here every single day. And I really freaking appreciate it. And if you want to check out the Patreon and membership, well, there's a button below every single video that you can push. You can become a member there. Or you can check out the Patreon. And there's a link in the description down below. Just where you should also leave like a comment and tell me what you think about the deck. So, yeah, if you want to check that out, I would appreciate it very freaking much. But, as per usual, always think of yourself first. If you don't have any hard-earned cash to share, don't you throw it at my beautiful face. Just keep it for yourself, for your beautiful face. And talking about beautiful faces. When you wake up tomorrow morning and you see your face in your tea kettle that is like piping hot water inside, just remember that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.